Good afternoon. The first item is the the first item. Business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Dr. Robert Calvert of the Steeple Church in Dundee. Thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate the opportunity to come here and wish you all a happy new year if it's not too late to do that, uh, members of the Scottish Parliament. If, if there's one thing that we've learnt over the last month, it's that just a moderate increase in storm activity creates complete havoc over our land. So Storm Frank made Scotland's towns and glens into disaster sites. The other big issue that faces our continent, as well as country, is refugees and migrants. It's not a new issue, and it's not likely to end. In this era of the highest human migration in history, people travel from lands wasted by war and climate change. Before returning to Scotland in 2014, my wife and I lived in Rotterdam for 19 years. Our home was on an island in Europe's largest port city. We were situated between Manhattan-style apartment blocks and office buildings along the River Maas. In the Netherlands, they build dikes and barriers to protect the land from rising sea levels. The Dutch are used to water problems, and that is why they have some of the world's best marine engineers. My simple point today is that even if you can't control water flows, sorry, if you can control water flows, you can't do the same with migrants. You cannot control travelers and make them a commodity. Some social commentators today speak of migration flows and highways. But when we use that language, we disrespect those most affected by this humanitarian crisis. They must not be treated like excess water or bad weather. Being likened to traffic subtly changes migrants from humans into commodities. And when that happens, we are letter, little better ourselves than traffickers who see themselves less than, who are less than human. We think then in terms of us and them. Now you can turn your tap on and off, but you can't turn off the coming and going of people who seek a better life. There is a little story in the middle of the Old Testament book of Genesis. It's about Abraham giving hosp hospitality to strangers. Three men arrived without warning in the heat of the day. It was siesta time, but the elderly couple provided water for tired feet, rest in the cool of the shade, and a sumptuous feast. The narrative ends with news of a baby that would lead to the birth of a child refugee, which we call Jesus. This story, shared by the Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Christianity and Islam tells how home is not necessarily where you were born or brought up. Home is where you are received and welcomed. Home is where you get recognition and respect. May God give us Abraham's grace so that migrants will be proud to call Scotland home. Thank you. The next item.